Okay, after introducing the different statistical concepts in turbulent flows, and also uh, after explaining the differences between isotropic, homogeneous, and stationary turbulent flow, in this section, I want to introduce the velocity correlations uh, which are very important in description of the velocity uh, in the, the velocity behavior in turbulent flows and to find scales of eddies. We have many number of eddies in the turbulent flow and we have energy cascade, energy spectrum and very different concepts like these and in order to uh, explain these be the behavior of these concepts we may use the statistical tools and lots of the correlations are very important tools in this, uh, in this part. We have two types of correlations. The first one is the special correlation and the next one is the time uh, correlation or temporal correlation. Let's start from the first one. Consider that the velocity, the ice component of velocity can be decomposed into the uh, ensemble average or the mean flow and the fluctuation about that, that mean or the, the ensemble average of the flow. So this is the fluctuation of the velocity and this is the mean velocity or the ensemble velocity. Uh, we, have the, we have two important properties here. The first one is that uh, the ensemble velocity is a zero in homogeneous isotropic flows. I have just proved this in the previous video. And the next part is that the ensemble average of the fluctuations uh, uh, should be zero uh, in one point. So this is the one velocity at a point. Uh, the, for example, i component of the velocity at the point, the average of this velocity is a zero. So this relation uh, presents a nothing, no important result, and zero is not uh, is, is is useless for us. So, uh, we have to find a replacement or uh, something uh, similar to this expression, uh, which is the ensemble of fluctuation, uh, which is not zero. And so we can uh, present different uh, descriptions about the flow field based on this non-zero result. So uh, we try to uh, present a two-point correlation, or uh, so the two-point correlation is defined. Uh, the two-point correlation, as it's obvious from the title, is engaged with uh, the fluctuations of velocities in two um, distinct points. So, the, when, uh, so we have three velocities uh, in x, y, z in three-dimensional space. So I can uh, I can find the correlation between the i's component velocity in a point and the j's component of velocity in the other in other point. So uh, the um, uh, correlation uh, should be a second-order tensor fit with two indices i and j showing the velocities in uh, these two points, correlated points. And also I have to define a distance between these two points. So the, the tensor ij as a function of x and a point nearby or at a, a neighboring point, but the distance r from the point x and time is defined as the ensemble average of the fluctuation of velocity x i component of the velocity at point x and time t times the fluctuation of the j's component of the velocity at point x plus r and t at time t. This is the definition of the uh, velocity, special velocity correlation. Uh, for homogeneous flows, uh, it's not this relation or the, this tensor, second order tensor, is not a function of the x. So you can omit x from this relation in homogeneous flows. And also in isotropic flows, you can also uh, omit, omit the vector form of r here. And the result of this correlation is just a function of the magnitude of the um, vector, r vector or the distance. It's not, uh, it's invariant 
with respect to direction, so the direction of the r vector is not important, and just the, the, the distance between these two points uh, is important. So in isotropic flows, which is also homogeneous, the result of this relation is not a function of x and also the direction of the r vector. Rij is a second order tensor. The trace of this tensor, or the first invariant of the velocity correlation tensor, is, as you know, the ensemble average of the one shows the x direction, for example, two the y direction, and three the z, z direction. Uh, the squared uh, velocity in x direction, ensemble of squared velocity in x direction, plus uh, ensemble of squared. Uh, velocity in y direction and in z direction. This is the trace of the velocity correlation tensor, which is um, used in the definition of the energy spectrum, which is not which is out of the scope of this uh, video.